Crick. Onadira just starts to move to his right hand side. Uh, Coach Treviso actually in 2007 in Italy and actually played for uh, oh! Ravenna as well. Germany did this against the USA in their first game, held their own right up to about the 20-point mark and then let it slip. That's nice from Zimmerman because Crick got dug on the last play, goes right back to him. Re-establishes him as a threat. Cricks over the top. It's the speed of this as well as the height. Jendrick's hands are down. He almost gets there. Good work, Crick. By the time he has that swing, look, just Jendrick's just. A... Nice. At least that's still working. Zimmerman to Crick. Two blockers straight through the middle. Jendrick. Just clever, clever play from Edgar. He knew that they had the three blockers. Well, that's the key, and that's the area of the court that's going to be open. The third blocker develops there. There's nobody in the left side, in the left front area of the court. Impossible. That's Shoji, right? Yeah. And then that's tough. And then that's what you're supposed to do when you have the middle blocker in the back row. That's a smart play. They've really been in control, Rob, of this entire match. They've been cruising. They've got the swag. Oh, what a defensive touch. Oh, I thought that might have a chance of coming back, but yet another kill for the reigning MVP of the Olympic Games. For me, this is how I sense it. Italy is is there, but just a little behind France's skill level, and they can't quite match it. You know, we've seen Spurt. Back with the action, 16-12. Big stopper from Leal. Oh, the perfect response. Don't compare. He's not really been able to get Again, the pipe comes, but it's a good save by Grigenikov. And at last, Engelbert finds a way through. A little petulant swing of the arm afterwards. Give that to Grigenikov again, just getting in there for that pipe attack that could have gone down, but such a great defender, always in there, always in the play. And here's the one Engapet was looking for, just throws it off the hands. And with this, the passing was a bit out of balance, doing it again, this hybrid serve. I want to Namir. Wow! How did he find that angle? Explain that physics to me, somebody. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. Give it back, give it back. Stop. This is mega rally. Rock, look to this ball. So nice, inside three meter from high from, ball. Block. From a three-man block in front of him. So let's see if either of these teams get the edge in the third set. First ball goes towards Namir, of course. And he puts it down on the Italian side. Again, this, this famous shot from him, sharp diagonal. With the three block, the third guy was not coming, but at least he, he was thinking that and then so Closing the gap, 2018. Palazzo does a better job of that one. Nicoletto off the hand, still good on the Netherlands side. 
Here comes Namir with a little tip, but it's good. And you see the reaction of the players of Netherlands. They start to believe again in this set. And I think on this side, the, the side of the Italian, they will start to duck. What an amazing, nice shot. And if you wait the book of how to shot as an opposite, that was a really one. Going in and then turning the line, and yes. 16-10 for Italy. Namir finds a way past the side hand of number 15. Lavia on the outside. It's a normal tactic to leave Nimir a bit the line open. Yeah, and this time it was too much, so he could spike around the block and then between. The roll from Lavia overpass. Zaitsev takes it, gets it right back, tip thrown. Teaming finding Namir into the block and passed <laughs> it. Now, Namir has enough experience under his belt as well to know when to use the accuracy and when to use power. He was shut down big three times late in set two, and this time he just gets... She does a good job of just using the set. Good up from Karakurt, and available to have a swing. Oh, great cover. The crowd thought that was down. And now it's Turkiye who is struggling, and it's Thailand who take the point off of a magical piece of defense and cover. Both sides defending so well on this play. It's easy to see how much this match means to everyone. That's it. Unfortunately for uh, Shahin, she's off. Anything they can do to slow down the momentum of Thailand. Close if one comes in there to deal with it, but no real swing on that from Brazil. There's a chance for a swing here, and there's a chance for a block as well, but somehow, again, it's been kept alive. Another block, but it's off the block. I tell you, Supatra had a dig there to keep that alive in the back hall for Thailand. Well, oh, that's, that's outstanding. Those are the plays that can make or break, because if your teammates are behind you and they're covering you... Really fast offense. Oh, good serve. That deep float serve working really well for Thailand. And now they've got an opportunity to get level. Oh, what great cover. Probably around a little bit. And it is going to be Turkey who scramble it. Best part of two hours plus, depending on how far it goes. And there'll be a lot of boos and whistles for Thailand, but they'll ignore all of that. Bit of work to do for Karakurt. A free ball for Thailand. Chance to go ahead. Good up. And a lovely set from Adem. But Turkey A have to come again. Oh, what a pickup! What a pickup! Still, though, it's Turkey A knocking on the door, and eventually they smash it open. Gunesh through the middle. Wow, we're already rolling here. Thailand doing what they do best, extending rallies. And Turkey A is going to have to. What a nice set. Whoa. What a nice set. I oh. watched that and I thought, I can't, that's not going to, it was not going to fall. I thought it was going in front. Yeah, it's so nice. Give it back, give it back. Oh, it's a pity. No, it's not the spike from Megono. It's a set from, oh, we have to see back. That was amazing. On the net, on end problems, pushing it back with two hands. Yeah, very nice. Game and control. Well, certainly Megono has got the ball under control at the moment. Yeah, this, this nice sharp diagonal she's doing all the time today, and it's not, um, it's not that she, again, she has a normal spike to match her, around 50%, but it's amazing that... Oh, you play Gabi, you play Gabi. This is what, you make a mistake, over. It has to come over. And now the ball goes to Egonu, of course. Bang, and down it goes, you just knew that was coming. But I mean, what I think is, but it's okay, it's easy afterwards. You have a player who's hot, on fire, she scores every ball, but then she makes a mistake, then it's the moment to change the game. You have Gabi in front, position four, and she has to take responsibility to have like a different position to serve, to, to pass and spike. And Julie B does have to take the ball, and it's into transition here for Italy. Well, that must have caught a bit of the block, because Gabi played it, it was going to go long. Another chance here for Italy. Oh, well played, what a shot, wow, because this is something different, you can say she spikes over and blah blah blah, this is controlled shot, middle of the court, oh. look from so high, that nobody is coming close, there's no change in her style at all is there, until and she makes contact. But what you see, 
excellent pass. And then Iganu, it is Iganu who gets it. A little bit of an inquisition there as to who was going to play that.